What's going on you guys? I'm just gonna give you guys a straight up chest workout. I know this is a body part for a lot of you guys. It's kind of hard to hit on these total gym or slot events trainers, at least that's some of you guys say. So uh, this is gonna be a standalone workout. Shouldn't take you more than like 10 to 15 minutes. You certainly can pair this up with something else. This could be a standalone workout, totally up to you. I'm just gonna be using my total gym fit. I'm gonna be detaching the cable. Uh, so if you guys don't have a total gym model or maybe like a grade flex, um, something you could do is add some suspension trainers on here like I've shown in previous videos to kind of replicate that field. Maybe not now, but maybe later on. I'm gonna avoid using uh, any kind of bands or external weight in case you guys just don't have it. I'd love to do more of that. I just know a lot of people, maybe you may or may not have those things. I'll use a couple things that are kind of like bonus things. You don't necessarily need them, but for the most part, if you guys got a squat stand, a Pilates bar is gonna be good. Um, general kind of basic, just handles and attachments are fine. If you guys got a bar attachment or even the weight bar attachment, that's gonna be do it up good. I'll be doing a couple things like pressing wise off of that. If you guys don't have something like this, you certainly can kind of just use your hands and kind of press off the actual glide board itself. Uh, but that's it before we jump into this workout. As always, if you guys like and or subscribe, I'll put links in the description box for everything I'm using in this video and let's jump into it. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down to about like a middle, about a mid height. For me, that's like a five on my total gym fit. I'm gonna grab a bar. You could use your weight bar attachment, uh, like this thing if you wanna do that. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? A bar would be good, I might mix it up a bit, but since I just got these things, I had the perfect push-ups laying here. I was trying this earlier, I'm probably gonna use this um, as a way of pressing. So just gonna do some presses off of here. Now, since we're not supersetting, we're not doing any kind of like, you know, supersetting the back, which would be another you know, ideal body part to superset with. We'll take some little rest periods. We're gonna kind of keep in mind, I'm not gonna take really long rest periods, so that's gonna kind of dictate repetitions we're gonna do. Um, all these things are gonna gradually kind of compound upon each other and build upon it. So if it feels like you could do more, I'm just gonna kind of maybe tell you to kind of be mindful of the fact that we're not gonna be taking you know two or three minute rests just for the sake of making this video. We're gonna kind of go at a faster pace. You certainly can always pause the video. But again, I'm being mindful of the fact that I'm gonna be kind of jumping around to different exercises. They're all chest dominant and you're gonna be working your chest pretty quickly, it's gonna build up. So just keep that in mind. Whatever you're gonna be using, uh, just up to you as far as like what you're gonna be pushing off of. Just gonna get in this position right here in like a plank position. I'm gonna go for about 10 repetitions, nice and easy, uh, but kind of starting to feel the tension in the chest and begin. Okay, mini break. We're gonna do another set, and this time, instead of doing kind of a little bit slower pace, I'm gonna not do full lockouts. I'm gonna kind of rep on like a partial range of motion, trying to feel that tension in my chest as much as possible. I'm also trying to think I'm gonna keep my, my chest kind of right over the chest line of uh, the board. In this case, you're using a bar. Um, if you are doing just the glide board, you know, obviously it's a little more you know, tricep dominant, so just gotta kind of work around that. All right, jumping into it, I'm gonna go 15, but again, kind of partial reps. We're really focusing on more of the muscle, the tension in the muscles, and less so much about going full repetition, or full uh, range of motions. And begin, 15. Okay, mini break, about 10, 20 seconds. Gonna go into 10 kind of fuller repetitions. All right, and begin. You can always go on your knees, sorry. You can always go on your knees as well. I forgot to mention that. Okay, kind of hold this plank position if you can, whatever you're at, in your knees or whatever. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go some negatives. I'm gonna go super slow on the way down, maybe like a four count on the way down, push myself up. If I can't push, push myself up, I'll just kind of throw my hips up. Um, but I'll just say do a negative of four, push up, and we'll see how many we do here. Okay, I'm gonna aim for maybe five total repetitions and begin. So a negative count, so one, two, three, Four, hold, hold for a second, push out of it, negative again, four, hold for a second, push out of it. Think of that tension in your chest and less of it in your 
triceps and your shoulders. You'll feel that for sure there. Down again, four, three, two, one. Hold for a second, push out of it. Let's do one more. Okay, hold for a second. Now we're gonna rep here, 10 repetitions and go. So one, two, mini reps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Probably should stop there, but just cause I'm a little weird and crazy, we're gonna do one more of 10. Okay, take a mini break though. Original plan was to actually raise the incline. I don't think it's totally even necessary. I think it's just fine where it was. All right, 10 full repetitions. Nice, easy range of motion. And begin. Felt really good and honestly I didn't, I didn't mention it. that was the first time i tried it a couple times like once or twice fourth time i actually did like a full few reps uh with that kind of setup there well, obviously i just got the board so didn't really mess around with it too much okay now let's go ahead and attach the pulley gonna raise this at least mine about three quarters of the way high for me i got like a nine we're gonna do a basic chest press Okay, taking a little break here. I know you're probably still feeling it like I am. Things to focus on again, is just kind of the posture. Instead of sitting straight up, if you can, you know, your feet can be on the ground. You hit the feet off the ground, you can. Give yourself kind of a slight lean forward. So you're already kind of pre-engaged. Chest is already kind of already lengthened out. You kind of feel those muscles already kind of stretched. And those same muscles we're thinking that are stretched, in this case, the chest. The same muscles now we want to squeeze um, together as we're kind of pressing out, all right? Let's just do 10 repetitions. Nice, easy tempo. We'll kind of see where we're at and begin. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. One notch for me. I'm hoping on this workout, my microphone is like on really low battery. So if you see me kind of eyeing something, that's my battery I'm kind of eyeing. All right, let's get ready to go again. Rest a couple seconds here. Let's go 15 this time. All right, set up and begin. Got to use your feet, that's fine. Deviate some pressure off it. Okay, the goal is still to kind of really maximize that pressure in your chest. So yes, the goal was 15, but I noticed if I didn't kind of throw my feet down there, give myself a little bit of kind of like a, just kind of easing that tension off my shoulders and give myself a little bit of kind of a break. Um, not a break, I'm trying to look at the right word I'm trying to say here, but just kind of help myself get a little bit. I don't want to get this so much where I'm like straining to get 15. Uh, I just gave myself a little bit of a, an ease of that workout where you kind of degress it a little bit just so I can give myself a little bit of a boost to just kind of maximize that tension on my chest. All right, here, let's go up again. We're gonna go 10 again and then we're gonna do like a drop set here in a second. Okay, here we go. Leaning into it, 10 repetitions. Again, if you can't really see it, but I'm gonna give myself a little bit of, a little bit of boost with my feet if I need it, and begin. Four, 
trying to press right through my chest line. All right, that was 10. Let's drop it down right where we started, about three quarters of the way high. I think for me that was like eight or nine on my fit. I'm going to an eight. We're gonna do again some negatives. All right, we'll do a push, go nice and easy, and then push right back out again. This one's gonna be a tendency to wanna to feel like your shoulders are gonna take the grunt of that work. Whatever you gotta do, position yourself, think about it, but just try and get a lot of that tension to kind of go right in, your, right in your chest. Like right now, it's definitely where I'm feeling. I don't know how you guys are. I can't say it's gonna work for everybody, but definitely right around here, kind of a lot of soreness, not feeling too much in the shoulder. That's kind of what you want. Definitely located centrally in your chest. All right, let's get set up right around here. We're gonna press, let's do the negative of uh, three this time. So press negative of three, we'll go for about maybe five to seven reps, we'll see. And go, so press, nice and easy press. Negative, one, two, three, press. Make sure you're digging through your chest, that's two. One, two, three, press, that's four. No, I'm three, I'm sorry, one, two, Three, I can't count with you guys. This is four, here we go. Negative one, two, three, five. One, two, three, press and six. One, two, three, let's press and seven. One, two, three. Now what I want you to do, take your hands, kind of bring them out like almost kind of a close grip position. If you got these swivels and these chrome handles, this works extra well here. If you don't, it's no big deal. Gonna do some little kind of pulse reps here. We're gonna go to 10, just keep it inside. By pulse reps, I mean something like this, okay? Just kind of some mini reps. The goal of what I'm doing here, trying to just focus a lot of tension. I'm just kind of repping it and pulsing it right where it's kind of centrally located in my chest. So if you're pulsing it and doing it, and you're feeling more in your shoulders and in your triceps, that might be okay for now, but try and think of it as much as you can that that press is coming right from you just squeezing your chest muscles together. All right, let's go 10 more, kind of pulsing it and begin. One, two, Three, I'm leaning into it, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. This is where it starts to get interesting. This is kind of like the climax of the uh, workout here. You should definitely, this be the hardest part. I'm not saying that was a warm up, but this is where it starts to get a little more higher intense with the weight. So I detached the middle pulley. You guys know where I'm going with this. This is gonna be a little harder. Raise the tower height slightly. Mine's at like a nine. Now this is gonna to be tough. So we're not trying to necessarily focus on, you know, slow tempo and doing some supersets. This is just gonna be a lot more higher intensity. Should be, you know, just strenuous, just making these, these uh, repetitions kind of count. So. Whatever height you want to get at that makes the makes you hit the reps, that'd be good. We're gonna do about 10 repetitions. If you want to adjust it, pause the video, it's up to you. Just gonna do 10 nice strong presses. Uh, I'm gonna be using my legs for sure to kind of get out of that bottom position to dig, but I'm gonna try and minimize that as much as I can. All right, let's do 10 repetitions and go. All right, good. We're gonna do two more sets like that, but I'm gonna raise it up each time. So, raising mine up about one, maybe two notches. I got one notch up. Little mini break, like 10 to 20 seconds. I'm gonna grab a drink of something here really quick. Okay, so it should be a little harder intensity. You can keep it the same if you guys wanted to, but we're gonna go 10 repetitions and begin. All right. 
raise it one more notch. So you know what? Let's drop set it. Change of plans here. I think if we go one more notch up, like I was going to, I think that's gonna be a little too tough and it's gonna take the tension where we walk the chest, put a little too much on the shoulder. So the kind of the opposite, I'm dropping it lower, kind of do a little bit less on my legs to help me out. And just really gonna try and work on engaging and focusing that tension right where I want it. So sit however you guys wanna sit. I'm gonna try and sit cross-legged. Gonna shoot again for 10, we'll see what happens. Even though this is lower, probably gonna be tougher because I'm not using that tiny bit of boost for my legs, all right? But you guys can do whatever you guys need to. And begin. I am gonna put my legs down. All right, nice. All right, this is going longer than I wanted it to be. I wanted to go about 10, 15 minutes. This is going on 20 minutes, so hopefully you guys don't mind. Let's go put that at eight. Like three quarters of the way high, sorry. We're gonna do some kind of assisted flies. Flies are hit and miss for a lot of people. Also, depending on the model, I always think it's good if you can get some extra carabiners. You know, I got the whole chrome handle uh, swivel thing going on. It adds a little bit of length. I know a big problem is sometimes without these, you can kind of bottom out the machine. So do whatever you can. What I'm gonna do is give myself a little bit of a push with my legs or kind of guide it a little bit. And again, that's so I don't emphasize my shoulder doing a lot of the work. I'm getting, I give myself a little bit of boost so I get around here, kind of dissipating the weight a little bit. Again, dividing it from my the ground to my chest, whatever I can to make sure I'm focusing it, it on the top part, of, more top part spread across open part of my chest. All right, hold whatever grip feels comfortable for you. We're going 10 repetitions and begin. I'm kind of coming up at an angle here. This is also good for people that have bad shoulders. You may have to scoot down a bit to get more leverage out of your legs. All right, go ahead. We're gonna superset a little bit. Grab a bar. Actually, I'm gonna do the Instar bar. I like that it's more solid. That one has like multiple pieces, so. We're gonna go 10 repetitions here. Back to where we were in the beginning and begin. more wobblier on that one. Take a mini break. This is chest dominant with not a whole lot of rest period. Again, I'm kind of trying to tell you guys that the break sometimes might be better off. So we're doing this on purpose because it's fast. We don't have any other exercises. So there's pros and cons of each thing. We're getting a lot of volume, a lot of work in our chest, but if you're finding yourself kind of getting tired, um, repetitions are kind of hard to complete. Definitely pause the video. We're gonna do two more sets just like that. I'm gonna call it a day. All right, let's go 10 more of the flies, back into the presses, and the same thing for one last set. All right, set up and begin. Let's go, same thing, 10 repetitions here. Again, I'm trying to get my body flush flat right on top of this bar. Basically, my nipples are essentially right on top of the bar. That's what I'm thinking about. All right, and begin. All right. Last one, guys. Begin 10 repetitions. Chest is definitely. 
fatiguing. Let's do some negatives for the hell of it. This last one here. Let's get on top. We'll go negative, press. We'll see how many we get. Let's start. Negative with a three count and go. Press. So down, three, two, one. Press. Down, three, two, one. Press. Go down, three, two, one. Press. Let's rep it out. Mini reps, 10 repetitions, and that's it. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, that was it. I'm feeling pretty good. Probably gonna do something else. If I'm honest with you guys, I'll add a couple little other things. Um, totally up to you. I think that was probably around like a, it's gotta be 20 minutes. So that's it, guys. See you guys in the next video. I wanna keep this kind of short and sweet. And thank you guys again for watching.